It's very well written and very well conceived, and that's really what attracted me to the project. I like the writing. I thought it was funny and, and touching. Jason's very, uh, very hardworking, very clear, straightforward. I'm very lucky. I'm uh, one of the co-creators, but I got to go for a free ride on this one. Bill Lawrence and Brett Goldstein came up with an amazing idea, and they came to me early, and they allowed me to help develop it with them, but this is really their idea, and I got very lucky. You're going to watch somebody try to pull themselves out of grief by forming a, a family from the people around him, which is really what we all do. We all have a found family, and that really is what the show is about. It's the only way we're going to get through grief is through laughter and with each other. I think there is a real wish fulfillment element to this show in general of um, we wish someone would just tell us what to do. Gosh, I'm so good with instructions. Just do this. And so uh, it turns out there are ethical reasons you don't do that and we find them out in the show. They sent him the script. I think he wanted to do comedy because I think Harrison is one of the funniest people around. He's just never gotten the chance to show it. And so it was an opportunity for him to do something he hadn't done. And I think we all want that. Like we all have parts of ourselves that are unseen that we feel like we'd like people to know. It's a show about grief. I've heard it put as a grief calm. I think Jessica said that, I'm not sure. But uh, it's definitely about pulling yourself up out of the valley, but um, not by yourself. He has name Sean, he's a vet, he suffers from PTSD, he's got anger issues, and he gets assigned court-ordered anger management, and that's when he gets stuck with Jimmy, Jason's character, and they gotta figure out how to, how to get better together. So what it's like working with Harrison, is, you know, you probably heard, it's, you know, it's very, very regal, very poised, and all that's true, but on top of all that, he's very warm, and he's funny, he's funny for free, when they're not paying him, when it's not between action and cut, he's making you laugh. He's a, he's, a, he's a hoot and a holler and riot. He's a good dude. My therapist in particular has strongly inspired this series, so I had to be a part of it. Even when I've showed my daughter and her friends, they've all gone crazy for it, so I feel like it's all ages are responding, and it's really exciting to be here and promoting a show that I feel so strongly about. Jason is an incredible leader. He's like a, a, a teddy bear. He knows every crew member's name, and if he doesn't, he asks. And uh, he's generous. He wants to know where we're coming from. He wants to like. He wants feedback about the scene that we're working on and the writing. If we're not happy with the writing, which is never happening because his writing is so good, he's in, he's generous. He's an incredible leader and very sweet man. Jessica Williams is a brilliant improviser. Jason's a brilliant improviser. Even Harrison can really throw in an improv line here and there. But the writing is good. The writing feels improvised sometimes. Shrinking is the comedy about grief we need right now. Alice is Jimmy's daughter. She is the only one on the show that has her shit together. Uh, the um, adults in her life are kind of running around and their lives are falling apart and she's just trying to find her way through grief and uh, trying to find her relationship with her dad again. 
she's just got that teen head angst. Down, she's down. teen angsty. She's grown up in oh, Pasadena, nice and uh, I think that uh, she's distanced from Jimmy right now. So she's not going to let him close to her until he starts showing her that he can be a good and present father. <laughs> Working with Harrison is absolutely incredible. It's sublime. I mean, he's a legend for a reason. I think that the presence and the energy that he brought to every scene, every single day was really inspiring and I learned so much from him. Uh, I play Gabby on Shrinking and Gabby is a therapist that works with uh, Paul and Jimmy, which is played by uh, Harrison Ford and Jason Siegel, and we all work at this practice. And uh, Gabby is someone who likes to keep it light and bright on the outside, but she has things she's working on in the inside while trying to be a good friend and going through kind of issues of her own. We all knew kind of quickly that this was something special, and I think Gabby is a really nice bright moment between you know Harrison's character who's a bit more surly and Jamie's who's really going through a lot. It's a bit sadder, so they all balance each other really well, and I think they all have a really good dynamic. It's great working with Harrison. He's a really giving actor. He really cares about the work, and he's very funny and cheeky. And um, it was a dream come true. I've known about him for a really long time, you know, and it's just, it was an honor to work with him. It was crazy. It was an idea I've been working on for a while that happened to coincide with an idea Bill had. My idea was a bit darker, his was a bit lighter. We put them together and it was like, oh, this is the right tone for this show. I wanted to do a comedy about grief and therapy and the difficult stuff, but make it funny, like life. I have had a lot of therapy, not enough, I mean, I keep saying, are we done? She's like, we're not done, but yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big uh, believer in therapy, I think it's very important. With both Jason Siegel and Harrison Ford, you go, well, they're the dream, obviously we can't get them, we'll offer to them and then we'll move on with our lives. And then we got them and I thought, this is how I thought Hollywood would work. <laughs> Bill Lawrence and I worked for eight years on Scrubs, and we were pretty tight, and uh, I was working on a, another show, and he gave me a call and said, I have a new show, and I said yes before I even knew <laughs> what it was or what it was about. Uh, then he said it was about a guy and his dead wife, and I said, sounds funny. But I knew the whole story, and I just thought it was so uh, touching and had the potential for all this pathos and comedy, and I was, I was, I was hooked even by being told what the concept was. It was just that the stars aligned and Harrison read the script and loved it and uh, uh, really um, uh, related to the main character and said yeah to our, to our delight and surprise, said yes, it remains to our surprise because every time I see him on that screen, even I'm like, really? Jason, Brett and I are Hollywood guys, we're all shrinked up, you know, and uh, uh, we were talking a lot about how everybody nowadays is only a couple steps removed from grief and the way that we all individually get through it is to joke through it and we wanted to, to write a show about kind of going into that dark shadow and hopefully coming out the other side. The pipe dream in Hollywood is to work with people you would want to spend time with anyways. I'd known Jason a little bit and uh, he's such a good guy, super talented, but he backs it up by being a great guy and to you know, not only have him as a, a lead, but as a writing partner, it's awesome. Harrison Ford, I'll put it out there as many times as people want me to say it, is one of those magic actors or actresses that turns out exactly the way you would hope they would be from being a fan of them forever, you know? And it was it's a gift to me, man. One of the most fun work experiences of my life. Derek, how's it going? Just walking the dog I didn't want. My patient moved into her sister's house. Sounds like the day's off to a great start for both of us.